We don't want to give uh, any tax dollars to the mainstream media. The media that is bought and paid for, which where are you from, by the way? Ah, okay, Canadian press. <laughs> I would have went the Trump round and be like, you fake news, next. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you going to let me answer the question, or are you just going to heckle on behalf of Justin Trudeau? Why didn't he call for security, like, uh, you know, escort her, out. escort her out the same way they escorted Rebel News? You're you're a tax you're a tax funded mouthpiece to the PMO. That's the reality. <laughs> you sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason. Because we paid them six hundred million dollars. Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars supposedly to protect media jobs. And then what happened? They all got laid off. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed off about what's just happened. So we believe that media should be driven by readership, viewership, and listenership. This whole thing, either they're in on it or they're too stupid to figure it out. This one, I don't give the benefit of the doubt. I think she's just dumb as nails and is triggered emotionally. Is it because she's a blonde? No, no, not, not, not at all. She's definitely not a natural blonde or a black box. Black box blonde. I want to say that he's pretty thin skin. Uh, it's our job when we're politicians to answer questions from journalists. I have a question from Tamara Ugolini from Rebel News. The only reason that I'm allowed to ask this question is because today the federal court ruled that the government doesn't have the right to determine who is or is not a journalist. Organizations like yours uh, that continue to spread misinformation and disinformation on the science. I am dysnumeric. What that means is I have an inability to handle small numbers and little calculations, those easy things that people do so well. 13 plus 14. 27. Uh, under pressure, it's even worse. So. Lack of understanding of basic science. Science. You need to answer questions. And when you're attacking the press, when you're attacking our free press, you're also attacking democracy. It's unworthy of a leader. Why did you embrace the millionaires of Big Pharma and uh, embrace your philosophy, your pro-choice philosophy? Sorry, I don't answer to questions from Rebel News. First of all, questions around accreditation were handled by the press gallery and the consortium of uh, networks who have uh, strong perspectives. Uh, the networks that have uh, strong funding, uh, meaning uh, yeah. um, the bought and paid for bought networks. Paid for networks, yeah. In, Propaganda. Um, on quality journalism and the uh, quality journalism defined by uh, how well they, uh, they stick closer to a uh, script that we provide for them <laughs> at, uh, uh, ahead uh, of time. Uh, I need a vacation. Uh, Small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing and ask me tough questions every day. <laughs> God, what a rat! When was the last time uh, he's been asked a tough question? Why are you gay? Why did you paint your face brown? Ooh. It's yeah, Liberal Party this, Liberal Party that. Uh, do you think Liberal Party still has a chance? What should they do to come up? And, you know, Pierre Poliev, he's just a populist and uh, he's just a talking points. He has no plan. And, you know, Canada, uh, under the leadership of uh, Justin Trudeau, has a plan because, mm. you know, it's a... Uh, 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 agenda 2030 uh, now uh, and 2035 and 2050 how we can get rid of all the gas vehicles and how can we put you all in the 15 minute cities and how can we tax you to wazoo so you own nothing and you fucking like it good day brothers and sisters and welcome to independent uncompromised media of Canada, which is Alex Sash show. Well, why do I start with this? Because the rest of the media, well, not the rest of the media of Canada, we have some really good YouTube channels, Rumble channels, and all kinds of other uh, sources outside of the legacy media, which is things like CBC, CTV, Global News, you know, Bell Media, etc., which basically not only compromised, but paid for liberal government. Why $1.3 billion worth of bribes 
were put in in place to continue to propel agenda of this neoliberal and now Nazi government. And some people say, no, 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 correction, not a Nazi government, communist government. But that's the conversation to be had, like, you know, how much of Nazi this government versus communist. Uh, it's definitely not a democracy that we're trying to promote and defend in Ukraine. Because that's the most democratic and uncorrupt country in the world. And that's why we're spending all of the taxpayer money outside of the money that was spent on the media. Oh, not media, but uh, government propaganda outlets. Uh, I have two distinguished gentlemen with me here today. As usual, Andre Cotteret and G-Man himself in the flash. Guys, how you doing today? What's going on, Alex? How's it going, Glenn? Every day is a great day. How you doing, big guy? I'm doing great. So without uh, prolonging this torture, uh, which is my voice, uh, we're going to skip right into the video that I wanted to show to our viewers and you guys right away. And this is nothing. Uh, people already saw that. But we want to remind people the uh, lessons of gaslighting that we experience on daily basis uh, propelled by our uh, fabulous leaders in our government and, uh, um, you know, the media. So let's get straight to the point. Why did your party, why did your party want to grant over $100 million in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? We don't want to give uh, any tax dollars to the mainstream media. We, our belief is that the mainstream media and all... Do you regret your decision then, uh, your party's decision no, to grant regulatory okay. relief? So I'll, I'll answer your question. Uh, the media that is bought and paid for, which, where are you from, by the way? Which, which outlet are you in? Which outlet? Which outlet? Canadian Press. Ah, okay. Canadian Press. <laughs> so you're talking about tax dollars so for slow media. How slow she was. Is, isn't CBC your biggest... Know, isn't, no, I, I can answer... Yeah, and Why you want to answer? You want to grant hundred million dollars and okay, he's gracious enough to offer an answer. He's not cutting her off. As I'm not talking to you or whatever your agenda is. Why am I even talking to you? Yeah, she's interviewing him because he's a somebody, right? <laughs> I would have wanted Trump around me like you fake news next. <laughs> Uh, but you can't do that in Canada because it's sure not polite enough. Yeah. But what I'm, I'm We're going to change that. Can. Of course you can. Of course you can. And uh, later in the second, we'll show you the other side of the story. Sorry. Regulatory relief to the mainstream media. When would you like me to respond? <laughs> Don't even ask okay. her. Good. Okay, great. So, of course, you are a tax-funded media outlet and uh, spreading Justin Trudeau's message. Why did you and, and, and so you're, you're, you're interrupting me again. You're interrupting me again. Fake news. I am answering the question. Why, you... why didn't he call for security, like, uh, you know, escort her, out. escort her out the same way they escorted Rebel News, uh, what's his name? Why is your government supporting Islamo Nazi? What? You should be What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Well, actually, the longer it goes on, the better it looks for him because he's just exposing the media. The media looks, look, they don't want the, the truth being told. It's literally personal for her. She cannot control herself. Like it's it's so close to home, and what he's saying is so accurate that she just can't control it, which is Well, it's not that she, that's exactly the point. She cannot control the narrative, and that's why she's choking on her own words. Trying to control him because she's not in control of herself. Yeah, oh. yeah. Regret that's granting $100 million in regulatory relief to the mainstream media. Your question is false, so if you can allow me to correct your falsehoods, then we can, <laughs> we can answer the question directly. So, false. Canadian... Can He's actually gracious enough to address the question. Like you said, I would have been like, who are you? Where are you from? Fake is it, news. Is, is it next. just me or is he aging in front of our eyes? I feel like <laughs> three, four years ago, he looked like, you know, a fresh, clean cut teenager. And now it just, it's weighing on him this day in, day out. Stuff. It's probably marketing. He could have a spreadsheet for all the uh, false news, how he wants to correct them all. Yeah. Conservatives do not believe in giving tax dollars to media outlets. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. That's Justin Trudeau. Okay, Justin if, you, if you don't Trudeau. want me to answer the question, Conserve I'll move on to your someone money. else. You're you're a tax you're a tax funded mouthpiece to the PMO. That's the reality. <laughs> so oh, the question answered. You committed I'm trying to. to I'm trying to, but you're heckling. By the way, uh, <laughs> when PPC gets elected and uh, Maxime Bernier gets elected, we're going to ask him for to allocate funds to, uh, you know. Uh, to support our program here and uh you know we not will, me brother i don't stick my <laughs> nose up on anybody's arse come no on way. what's the price no there's no, <laughs> no price yeah, exactly. our that soul is, is not for sale 
You guys have to have a talk. Are you going to you let me answer the question, or are you just going to heckle on behalf of Justin Trudeau? <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Which is it? I would love the answer. Great. So our, our party does not support tax dollars for media outlets because that's when we end up with biased media like you who come here and articulate the PMO talking points rather than uh, delivering uh, real news to the Canadian people. Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars supposedly to protect media jobs. And then what happened? They all got laid off. So that, so that the supposed justification for giving, giving Bell all Justification. Was that a clever pun or anything like Pretty this? Pretty good. Oh, yeah. So I'm really mad about that. He did say that. Remember Trudeau said that was like in his press conference a few days ago? So, yeah. I'm pretty pissed off about what's just happened. The reason why they had to let go of the people, guys, is because the money that were allocated for maybe even proper jobs were probably split and taken away. And that's why uh, Trudeau needs to be audited specifically because some of the money went back into the pockets of his family. 100%. 100%. Uh, I think it's 100%. <laughs> All this money was that it was going to save media jobs. Well, they all got fired. So I guess that wasn't the real reason for giving tax dollars to the media. The real reason was for him to buy support from Propaganda. the media, which is what it actually did. So we believe that media should be driven by readership, viewership, and listenership. And that's what allows it to, to represent the Canadian people rather than taking marching orders from the PMO. Uh, the primary perfect example of what he said is like, what was the Tucker's interview views on? Uh, 195 million. Last time I checked, for over. No, it was million. way. It was way over yeah, than it's that. It's got to be way point. over that yeah. at this point. And like, uh, if you compare that, whatever CTV analysis of that was, like, <laughs> twelve well, people. Yeah, Elon does a great and job. Justin breaking watched down it five times. Legacy media is is done. It's dead. If it would already be gone, if it wouldn't have been for all the COVID money thrown at them, and now all these government subsidies thrown at them. Musk just came out the uh, two days ago and he said that America should stop sending money and weapons over to Ukraine because they don't have his quote. They don't have a chance in hell of beating Putin and Russia. But Straight. That, but that was never the point. That's that's not why they send money to it's Ukraine. It's funnel to their friends and money launder back to themselves. Uh, so you want to see the lesson of gaslighting because again. We just watched this with our audience, and I didn't see anything offensive towards this uh, uh, who, journalist. Journalist, right? Supposed can you call her a journalist? Yeah, no, no, no you no, can't. No. Just a I'm propaganda. He still gave her a chance to ask a question. He still gave her a chance to hear his response, even though she continued to interrupt him. Uh, but here's the response that uh, Minister of Heritage uh, is the result of this. She's like, oh, how dare he do this? You know, the journalism is sacred cow. You cannot touch it. And we need to protect all this. And how dare he uh, treat the media this way? Yeah, champ, you know, Sh Sean Strickland, the, the mixed martial arts fighter, the UFC in Toronto, he came out and he called it. He says the media in Canada is, is, is like a disease. It's spreading everywhere. It's a, like a giant infection, a sexually transmitted disease that's going through the, the, the people. And uh, he's another guy just exposing the truth. That's why the media, the viewership is declining. And for them to stay relevant, they need taxpayers' dollars. Okay. We're paying them. Here's uh, Pascal Ange. She's the Minister of Heritage responding to this outrage that we just observed here on the show. So I just want to get back uh, on the altercation between Pierre Poilievre yesterday and a journalist from Canadian Press. She looks a bit yellow to me. She, she looks real in control of her emotions, just like her defending the other neurotic journalist that can't control her shit. Look at her. Look at her eyes. Look at her demeanor. Look at her really believing in the victimization that she believes she's witnessed and how she's here to rectify it and call it out and virtue okay. signal. It's a fair point, but is it that or is it a master class in gaslighting? I believe they're, again, you know, this whole thing, either they're in on it or they're too stupid to figure it out. This one, I don't give the benefit of the doubt. I think she's just dumb as nails and is triggered emotionally. Is it because she's a blonde? No, 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 no not at all. And she's definitely not a natural blonde or a black box blonde. I don't know what we call it, but it, no, I don't think it's a, a black box blonde. That's not the term. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of. Oh. All right, all right. Next, <laughs> okay. no, but seriously, like, listen to her talk. She's not on top of her emotions. She's kinship with that other journalist. They sound the same. That that decibel level, that nagging sound in her voice, 
that virtue signaling sound in her voice. That's what she has in common with that journalist, like okay. victim, victim, victim. Let's hear more of that. Uh, first of all, I want to say that he's pretty thin skin. Uh, it's our job when we're politicians to answer questions from journalists. Really? We're accountable to the Canadian population really? and it's the journalist's job to ask those questions. Some questions are difficult. Some questions are easy. Yesterday's question was pretty easy. Uh, he was just asked to explain why his party introduced an amendment to lift fees for uh, Canadian broadcasters. It's a pretty easy question. It's, it's his party that brought that forward. So yes, when you're a politician, you need to answer questions. And when you're attacking the press, when you're attacking our free press, you're also attacking democracy. It's unworthy of a leader. <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you talking about? Do you remember his tonality that he had? And he, he looked like he was bored. He would look like he was mid yawning through this like reprimanding of this chick, just saying, "Can I? Can I answer?" But not only that, the, the press asked him a question, and she wouldn't even allow him to answer. He kept saying, Do, "Are you going to let me answer? When would you like me to answer?" Uh, well, dude, she, that's that's what I'm saying. Like the the last, at least the last statement was 100% gaslighting. And the reason why I'm saying it's 100% gaslighting, we don't have to go back in the time of beginning of Trudeau's uh, tenure. Uh, we'll just go back uh, not so long ago times, uh, the fun times during Plan Gimmick and COVID-19 misinformation by channels like Alex Sasho, um, well, and things like. Uh, uh, Rebel News. Uh, let's watch this video. I have a question from Tamara Ugolini from Rebel News. Mr. Trudeau, the only reason that I'm allowed to ask you this question is because today the federal court ruled that the government doesn't have the right to determine who is or is not a journalist. This is the second election in a row that the court had to overturn your government. Do you still insist on being able to make that decision and why? First of all, questions around accreditation were handled by the press gallery and the consortium of uh, networks who have uh, strong perspectives. Uh, the networks that have uh, strong funding, uh, meaning uh, <laughs> yeah. um, the bought and paid for networks. Bought and paid for networks, yeah. In, um, Propaganda. On quality journalism and the uh, quality journalism defined by uh, how well they, uh, they stick closer to a uh, script that we provide for them uh, <laughs> oh, ahead uh, of time. Uh, I need a vacation. Uh, Again. Pay, pay for it, please. Now. No. I got con important information that is shared with Canadians. Uh, the reality is organizations, organizations like yours uh, that continue to spread misinformation and disinformation on the science around vaccines, around how we're going to actually get through this pandemic and be there for each other. Uh, we're going to get through uh, pandemic by implementing things like uh, a Rife can. Uh, this is going to help us all to do that. We're also going to pay a COVID tax, which is going to help us to eliminate COVID, right? That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> Keep our kids safe is part of why we're seeing such um, unfortunate. Yeah, that, that's that's example of lion sucker shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> kids like keep our kids oh, safe. Even, even even at that point, even at that point in in time, it was a open information that kids are the last one to be affected by that in any way, in any way. Uh, anger and lack of understanding of basic science, and quite frankly, your. I won't call it a media organization. You're gr uh, you know, You're the, gr this is actually crazy. Remember, if, guys, if it was a media organization, it would have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> but also lack of understanding of the, um, uh, you know, simple science. It's rich coming from the dude who has a. I am dysnumeric. What that means is I have an inability to handle small numbers and little calculations, those easy things that people do so well. I mean, 13 plus 14. 27? Uh, under pressure, it's even worse. So. And now he's saying, uh, you know, trust the science. You can't even put two and two together. It's equals five. It's the mind. kids where you just finished saying, statistically speaking, they're not affected by COVID. What they are affected by, though, and we know for sure is reactions to the vaccine. So statistically speaking, what he did by stuffing that in kids' arms 
overwhelmingly affected them in a negative way versus them potentially but, catching the flu. But it's not even the point of this video. The point of this video, he's saying you're not a journalist. You're not. Yeah, a, yeah, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're independent. You, I don't recognize you, you're too independent. Yeah, you ask questions, what, the, not a, the, well, not part of the script. Isn't yeah, it yeah. NBC or ABC? It was like the independent news. Like they, they used to have that as their tagline, and over the years, people caught on to it. Here, this guy's trying to, to to fault them for being too independent. But look at his face. He looks like he's uh, oh he's man, a drama teacher doing PM. Yeah group of individuals uh, need to take accountability for uh, some of the polarization that we're seeing in this country. And I think Canadians... Uh, so sue them. Sue them. Yeah and, also polar sue them. yeah, and also polarization, you know, the what, what do they call the... Small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing. We want to make it sound like this class of citizens in our societies don't jump the gun at the opportunity to sue people for defamation or holding them liable. It's just like the RFK book that came out. It was written by a lawyer, like a lawyer. And notice how nobody's challenged that book. Everything in that book, he's fully aware that what he presented there, he could be held liable for in court. And it's just funny to hear these people say that it's public opinion, that you guys are so false. They would be jumping down their throats with lawsuits that we would pay for. Rebel News themselves as taxpayers would be funding their own prosecution. So that's how you know that he's just full of shit. You know, like he's got nothing to go on at all. Okay. Uh, are cluing into the fact that uh, there is a really important decision we take about the kind of country we want to see. And I salute all extraordinary hardworking journalists that put science and facts at the heart of what they do and ask me tough questions every day. <laughs> God, what a rat. When was the last time uh, he's been asked a tough question? Uh, Let's ask him. Are you straight? I saw that supper when this guy was saying that he gave him 600 million. This was before COVID and he's still after the fact. Glenn, what, what are we, 1.3 billion in 2023? Altogether to media? At the end of the fiscal year 2023. Uh, it wasn't funny when he said it years ago that we gave you guys 600 million, so he gave us favorable. And he said this in a, in like a kind of a supper roast. And it was You sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason because we paid them $600 million. It's like not even funny. It's like, it's weird that people in that room were just like otters and slapping away and just clapping for him. But who, why, who would want to, who laughs at that? He gave that to CBC and CBC is owned by Bell, a publicly traded company, BCE. Mm -hmm. It does, it, it's, that's a corporate welfare. It it's is. a bailout. No, no, it's, it's, it's socialism. It's, it's, it's state run media, whether you like it or not, if they wouldn't be able to operate without that financing, then what does that make it by default? It's and the same system they have in Ukraine. That's why we're protecting it by sending more of a taxpayer money. <laughs> In Canada, the, the, the big networks that control the media are Bell, Chorus, Rogers, and Quebec Corps. That's it. That's all. Yeah. Uprise, the, uh, the, the uh, outside media, the people like us with the Alex Saggio. And the ones that you just named that actually has distribution and that reaches all these brains and programs them, none of them go against one another. There's no byline that comes out in the morning that competes against the other. It's straight up just uh, government status, mouthpiece, propaganda machines. It's 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 yeah, liberal party this liberal party that uh, do you so, think liberal party still has a chance? What should they do to come up? And you know Pierre Poliev he's just a populist and uh, he's just a talking points. He has no plan. And you know Canada uh, under the leadership of uh, Justin Trudeau has a plan because mm -hmm. you know it's a uh, uh, agenda twenty thirty now uh, and twenty thirty five and twenty fifty how we can get rid of all the gas vehicles and how can we put you all in the fifteen minute cities and how can we tax you to Wazoo so you own nothing and you fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty right. much. Let's give this guy another second of our time. Uh, but make sure that they are educating and informing Canadians from a broad range of perspectives, which is the last thing that you guys do. <laughs> what a hey, is he talking to CBC? <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh that's justin and you think it's like well it's you know he's a uh, you know he's a, a cuban son of the cuban uh, dictator so he's a communist at heart <laughs> but uh then we have uh this gentleman no, i can't call him a gentleman I what would you call him i don't know let's let's watch him alexander from rebel news <laughs> historically the ndp has opposed uh some of the pharma pharmacy companies that have uh, gotten rich and well she should have got it right away off the bat she should have got it the guy who did the translation for putin he was a lot more on top <laughs> oh, boy. Jeez, this is, she's painful to watch but i again yeah, but it, but she's it, independent news and and what she's saying is just pure fact as far as who are these pharmaceutical companies involved in at that time and still now why did you embrace the millionaires of big pharma and uh, embrace your flaws? Okay, whatever he says next already canceled for me because of that rap. ridiculous yeah. rap that he has on his head. And it's not a religious comment. It's the, you mm -hmm. think the pink comment has nothing to do with uh, uh, Justin Trudeau's uh, being his boyfriend and stuff like I this? Say so, he's a rat just because he's a politician and he just lies for a living. Like, look at him. What? Hit play. Watch this. Philosophy, your pro-choice philosophy. Sorry, I don't answer to questions from Rebel News. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can you believe that? And keep on the other woman that well, you well, introduced yeah. this with. What about the, the Pascal Senange? Where was she when he <laughs> said that? What about that? Question is from Rebel News. Good evening. Um, before you tell me that you're not going to answer my question, I just want to say that I'm not here representing myself or my company. I'm here representing millions of Canadians who have real questions for you, like the one my colleague Alexa just asked. Gotcha. People who you would marginalize. Is your message to them that they are second-class citizens? Not at all. Sorry. <laughs> is that really what his answer was? Just like that? Yeah, Yo, you it. got me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got me. Well, so, brothers and sisters, you heard it here first. Uh, uh, you know, it's and that's actually been the subject of our last like four shows. We're talking about. What is your choice? Are you going to stay and confront the evil here? Because it is evil. What's happening uh, in the Western world in terms of uh, imprisonment and enslavement of its own citizens? Would you, again, I'm going back to the audience, brothers and sisters, are you going to stand up? Because it, eventually, if you immigrate to a different country, eventually you're going to run out out of the countries because they will come for you there as well. And he is Rambo making an appearance, Glenn. Uh, cameo. A cameo, yeah. What do you think, Rambo? <laughs> what do you think, Rambo? Uh, like, Rambo life probably... is simple as a Rottweiler. Life's really simple as a Rottweiler. He wants to go for a walk. That's what it is. <laughs> or he's hungry. Uh, so, brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning in to Alex Sasho one more time and uh, observing the greatest level, le level of gaslighting uh, masterclass that we can only perceive to be our uh, Canadian government and the members of it. And I urge you not to buy into that crap and spread the message. Please share the Alex Sass show and click all the likes and subscribes and uh, leave us a message on what you like us to address in the next show. And uh, we respect you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one. Glenn, we make a community worse for everyone.